years, 100 members, 100 more hours of experiences. The Limaro City server has seen a lot through its history in the past two years, and today, we are here to celebrate the works of all our people who work tirelessly for this place we call home. Now, let's take a trip down the memory lane and see how our server has evolved over the past two years. It started with an idea from YJJ. He planned to build a city where dreams are made and escape from the real world into a community where players interact like in a real city. The name, YGG City. YGG City started off as an idea way back many many years ago, back when Mineshafter and I were still quite young. We always had this idea of creating this community and city, but we just didn't have the means to do so. Then, a few years later, we finally found that we could bring this dream to life through the most popular game in the world, Minecraft. I still remember clearly how the first world of YG City looked like. The spawn was on this small hill, and a path led down to a street with a few houses. And there was this uh, post office too. And just a day or two later, the server was griefed. After that, and probably a few more worlds that were also griefed, we finally had a server which lasted for more than a few days. In fact, a month. You can still see it in the September update video in YGG City 2018. And it was griefed again. And finally came the new world which is still here today. Throughout the next few months, we were making steady progress and new buildings were popping up everywhere. Players were also joining our server and our community at a very high rate and actually much higher than our current progress. We quickly reached 100 players within a few months. It was also during this period that some of our key staff today arrive in our community, such as Solutional, uh, Evernote, CalTS, uh, Lolo and Panasty or Panpan. Come to think of this, I think I still have a picture of uh, where Lolo drew which depicted 5 of the staff members. Some of the big projects we worked on back in YGE City 2018 were the Legacy Tower and yeah, old Mineshaft which is now the Department of Standards, the Subway Lines, Mount Vernon and of course the YGE City International Airport. In 2019, uh, things started to turn grey and progress slowed to a crawl. I was not posting any update videos and there were no major builds coming out with the only major thing being the monorail cap ride which till today still only has uh, 300 views. And then June came. Tensions between me and mine shafter rose. First we didn't cooperate on builds anymore. Then I abandoned the main city and decided to start YG City in a new empty area. Then uh, YG City and Nimaru became so called separate countries and there was this border separating the two countries. And finally, at the end of June, I decided it was time to leave after both of us could no longer accept the disagreements between each other. That was the lowest point in the entire server's history so far. For both of us, it seemed as if we lost almost the entire server. There was confusion, uh, Members of the server had to pick sides on who they wanted to continue with and we lost almost all of the 100 members we had worked so hard to gain. Over the next few months, Nimaru would continue to make more and more progress while YG City remained stagnant as I had to prepare for my final year exam. In November, after my exam, things started to kick off to a fresh new start. I made a new island which is uh, YG City today and uh, with a mountain in the middle and a lake. Using my experience back in YG City 2018, I plan to make the city look and feel much better and more interactive. 
I mean, the main goal of Voyager City to be interactive. A new YouTube series was made, Building Voyager City, which aimed to give members a look as to what I was doing in Voyager City, and for those who were not able to play, get a glimpse of what has been going on in Voyager City. Then, in February, we made a big hit through our Lake Look Line 360 video, which today has over 600 views. The following month in March, Voyager City finally released an update video after more than one year and two months, which was uh, rather popular too. Still, the work was mostly done by me. All the buildings you see in Voyager City were mostly done by me and this is not good because the focus of the server is not on me, but the community. Uh, this has always been my vision for the server and I'm still working hard and pushing for it today. Then came June 2020. The world is an absolute chaos, uh, which is still today as I'm making this video. But aside from that, uh, finally, after one year, YG City and Nimaru merged to become one server again. At that same period, I posted a tutorial video of how to make a dynamic Minecraft wallpaper that gained hundreds of views in just days. Along with that, me and Solutional released the server's first event server, Tower of Hell. A lot of players joined and played on the server and most people really enjoyed it, aside from sometimes when the levels did not stack properly and players couldn't get up. Even the owners of the original Tower of Hell from Roblox came to visit us. In the last 12 months, our server has seen a lot of progress. In Central, we have seen an effort to build more commercial centers like Inno Central to keep the economy going. New parts of town such as Rieri have also sprung up, giving our Lima regions better places to, to shop. The Esmono has been routed through these areas to provide better connections to the more prominent parts of the city. Moving north, Lipan has seen an expansion in its railways. A major interchange, Tui, has been constructed as a connection point between the Lipan and Cotton Mines. The station will provide valuable connections to other parts of Lipan. The Tolai Line has also been rebuilt as a viaduct and it now runs on top of Hope Avenue. Other improved places of interest include the Immersement Park and Manmen and, uh, how do I say it again? M um, yeah, Manmen's Bong Station. Menmen Bong Station. Menmen Bong Station. Going down south to the Isle of Hell, things now call at a long awaited Lakeside Station. Lakeside is a very quirky station due to its location between two stations that are not on the L. Besides stations, the glass factory is now up and running and is one of the many places for income. Going east into Tenoji, new towns have sprung up. New tracks here is the now the largest town in Tenoji, comprising of four railway stations. It is the only town on the server where Hungarian is an official language. As it is such a large town, it has become much of a transport hub with a large rail terminal, bus terminal and even a nearby airport. Being in the center of the server, New Tracks here enjoys a lot of traffic every day from people on buses and long distance trains. There is also a monorail that connects to the S-Mono, called the Lightning Line in this part of the server. Speaking of the Lightning Line, did you know that it is the only non-road vehicle system that connects Tenoji and Yokohama prefectures? The Lightning Line's southern terminus is at Bay South Station, one of the stations on the now completed Tokaido Line. Yes, the metro line that runs entirely on mainline tracks is complete. When towns are set up along the line, it will become one of the most popular lines on the server for both commuters and train companies. Moving south across the bay, we meet Enchima. Enchima is a land of two different identities, the urban north and the rural south. The urban north is another transport hub, having two stations and another historic train terminal. Meanwhile, the south of, la of its land where farmers rule. Enchima also contains both termini of the MRO line, one of which has been completed recently. Going back up north, we reach the town of Avatopia, a hub for the riverboat. 
While Evertopia had existed in various forms throughout the history of the server, its current look is the best of them all. Future plans in the new town include real projects and more projects. Speaking of future plans, we have a lot planned for the next year. Firstly, in Lipan, Lipan Central will have more than 20 platforms, the most of any station on the server. There will also be a checkpoint at Land's End that links YG City with Limaru, finishing the link between the two servers. Next, the Isle of Pearl is open for factory building. If you want to help with the server's economy and also make the server more realistic, we welcome you to build a factory on the Isle of Pearl. It is completely free of charge, and we hope that there will be more many industries on the tiny island. Enshima is also looking for builders, more specifically, town planners. Land is abandoned in Enshima, where you can build your own town and compete with the rest of the server to see who towns is best. Other claiming areas include Ozaki, Bush Llewellyn, and Kamihama. While their options may seem limited, fret not, you can build off the main lines if you don't see any land run. That's all for the updates on Limaru. I'll pass back my time back to Waji Kuku, who, who will be expounding on other stuff for National Day. And here we are today, two years after we first started out. The flame guiding our server has never died out, and it never will. As we commemorate this special day, let us appreciate our past, the present, and look forward to the future. Let us innovate, create, and experience.